Hey, it's Tony again with Type 5 Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the differences between this cheap wireless microphone by Maybesta and something a little bit more expensive like the DJI mic that I'm using right now. So let's get right into the test. As a baseline for all of these tests, I'm going to start out with the iPhone built-in microphone. We're outside, we got some birds chirping, so we're going to see how this does. Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Next, we have the wireless microphone from Maybesta. It does have some built-in noise cancellation, but I've noticed that occasionally it'll pick up some popping sound, which is due to wireless interference. But pay close attention to the sound quality of my voice as we go through some of these different tests. Now, this is the wireless microphone from DJI. It also offers noise cancellation and it comes with this dead cat so that it can block out wind noises as well. So let's take it around and we'll do some other tests. For this next test, I'm using the iPhone camera and I'm standing next to my air conditioning unit. So we'll see how this handles some of that droning background noise. Testing one, two, three. This of course is the Maybesta microphone next to my air conditioning unit. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Can you tell the difference? And of course we have the DJI mic next to the air conditioner. I actually have the transmitter set to plus three dBs and the receiver set to plus two dBs because I feel like that gives me some really strong audio levels. So let's take a look at some other tests. Next, we're out here by the road and I'm using the iPhone microphone. Let's see if we can pick up some car noise as they pass by here. Again, that's the iPhone built-in microphone. Next, I have the Maybesta mic. We're going to see if we can pick up this car audio as it passes by. And we have another one here coming down the road as well. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And last but not least, we have the DJI mic. We'll see how this sounds as we have these cars passing by. Testing one, two, three. One, two, three. Now for our last outdoor test, we're going to take a look at how the iPhone mic sounds as I'm walking away from it and around the yard. So we're just going to walk around here. Testing, one, two, three. Now let's try out one of the other wireless mics. All right, so we're gonna take another lap. This time I'm using the Maybesta built-in microphone. Again, whether I'm pointed towards the camera or away from it, it should be picking up my voice at the same audio levels, but pay attention to see if there's any of that popping noise from the wireless interference uh, as I walk further away and closer to that iPhone camera. And lastly, we have the DJI mic. As I take another lap around the backyard, you can really tell some of the differences in the audio quality between this mic and the Maybesta mic. And I like that it has good range to it, so I don't have to worry about how far away I am from the camera, especially if I'm just shooting video in the backyard. And for this last test, we're back inside the house with a nice, quiet environment. I've been using the iPhone 13 mini this entire time for this recording, in case you were wondering. So let's take a look at those other two mics again. Next again, we'll have the Maybesta wireless microphone. For a little over 20 bucks, this may work for you in some certain circumstances, but I found for myself, I really want something that's going to be reliable and just grab and go. So knowing that this has the occasional wireless interference popping issues uh, while I'm outside is not going to work for me. I don't wanna end up recording something and then find that I have to scrap the whole thing because of some popping noises. So let's test out that DJI mic again. And finally, we have the DJI mic. Hopefully this has given you some insight to the differences between a cheap and more expensive wireless microphone. And if you found this video useful, feel free to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more how-tos and reviews in the future. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, I'll see you all on the next one.